Welcome to Geek Blasphemy, the show where players say the most blasphemous statements that you wouldn't say on the Discord. I'm your host, Deuces, and as y'all can see, man, we have some amazing guests right now, some amazing personalities, and I'm just going to go ahead and go over the game, and we're going to get into all the categories and everything so that way we can get this right. All right, so players will be given four categories as you see displayed on the screen, right? You will have to choose between video games, anime, movies and TV, and comic books. After you select your category, players will choose between levels one and three, and each level is worth a certain amount of points. And you gain these by figuring out who said this blasphemous statement that we're going to see. Now, you will have two minutes to interrogate all the other players and figure out who said this statement. And after the time runs out, players will call out the person they believe said this statement. Go all right, Darren, back on you, bro. Which category are you going for? All right, let me see the categories one more time. Give me video games. And how much you betting on yourself on this one? Oh, let me get 300. Oh, video wow. games for the 300. All right, let's go ahead and get that next blasphemous statement up there. NFL Blitz is better than Madden. No. Oh, all right. So, Darren, go ahead and start your interrogation, bro. Uh wow that's crazy i'm sorry mm. Shit. blitz is better than madden madden the classic clint did you ever play nba streets no i hated that shit. Mm. nba streets yeah osama no i ain't play street I get the mm. correlation. I get the correlation. I definitely get it. Yeah, I get it too. I get it too. I get it. I get yeah, it. Okay. 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 I would like to say a lot of y'all. Y'all are really getting y'all acting on because I can't. I don't even know who it is. <laughs> Clint, what's, no, Clint I, what's the last? What's the last Madden you got? I got Madden twenty three, and I'm getting Madden twenty four mm. the day it come out. Kenise, what about you? What's the last Madden you got? Uh, last one I got was uh, nineteen. Shit, that's before COVID. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Drake, Drake, do you do you do you uh do you play online, Madden? Do you play Madden online? Yeah. Was anybody good at NFL Blitz? I was, I was, I was cheeks, but I, I, I only played it in the arcade. Yeah, yeah. Somebody That's gonna tough. have the answer for this. This is crazy. I know. Can you, did you play? Did you play NFL Blitz? I did. I'm gonna say Kanice did it. All right, Kanice, did you say this? Yes, I did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you knew, I can cool. tell. I can tell you said it. <laughs> NFL Blitz. Because All right. way back in the gap, NFL Blitz, motherfucker, you could put a nigga on the stretcher immediately. I was a violent kid, and that shit helped me not taking out on other kids. Hey, hey, nobody, nobody came to your house to play video games. They did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but can I say so? Uh oh, I I agree with him. Thank you, Darren. What? NFL Blitz, Tech Mobile, Super Tech Mobile is better than NFL Blitz, bro. The only right. game NFL, you the cannot only sit here and tell me NFL out. Blitz was not lit as fuck, bro. Yeah. Yo, no, the game that I like. Who remembers Game Day? Who remember Game Day on PlayStation? That was game better. Day. That now Game Day, game day was game day. game day was fire. It's okay to have an opinion, guys. No, no, man. it's not. <laughs> <laughs> like, have you have you heard of the internet? Have you heard of it? Because I don't think exactly. <laughs> NFL Blitz was so fun, bro. It was it was damn near seven oh seven tackle with no flag. Exactly, you can get in a fight on there. You can get a fight on MLB. Nah, man. I, 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 I like, I like, I like structure, man. I like. Yeah, yeah I need real football. I need real football. Yeah, I like. Yeah. It was, it was real football because that's how we was raised. Yeah, <laughs> that, was, that was nigga football. It was yeah, like that, that was back that alley football. Tackle, nah, no pass. Back to church. Yeah. All right, drinking. It is your go. What is your next category? 
I know you're right. You're right. I forgot. Movies and TV. Movies and TV to 300. Movies and TV for 300. All right. Let's get that next blasphemous statement on the board. None of the Power Rangers could really fight. <laughs> hey, that is you, disrespectful. Nah, that's if disrespectful. CT was here, he would, if CT was here, he would be having a fit. I ain't gonna hold you. All right, let's go that ahead and get the, let's go ahead and get the timer on. Kanice, go ahead and start your interrogation, bro. Aaron, who was your favorite uh, uh, Power Ranger? I think it was the black one. Who was your favorite Power Ranger, Osama? None. <laughs> who was your favorite Power? It was Osama. <laughs> Osama, did you say it, bro? No, I did not. Oh! 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 Hey, Damn. I ain't gonna hold you. I thought you had it, bro. All right, you got <laughs> That's my dog. That's my dog. Clint, who was your favorite Power Ranger? Mine was the black one, too. Okay. Real quick. Uh, then, do you remember where the Green Ranger whooped all the Power Rangers ass. Do I, what you, what you mean? They got to a fight, the Green Ranger broke away? The Green Ranger yeah. beat the ass. My boy, Kanish, remember episodes. Clint, Clint, do you remember when the Green Ranger whooped the ass? <laughs> the Green Ranger whooped the ass. Okay, where, where, where did they live at, Darren? Where did they live at? Shit, what's that? Was, was it okay. overseas? Oh, Clint. They were Clint. All right, you don't remember the city. What it was called? Okay, Clint. What was the name of the city? Do you remember the name of the city? Overseas. Yeah, I, I do remember that. It was Angel Grove. I do remember that. What was the name of the bullies, Darren? What was the name of the bullies? Don't you mean like the niggas they fought? There was two bullies. No. That always at the cafe. Clint. <laughs> what was the name of the bullies at the cafe? Bulk and Skull. Good. It was Darren. There was there was a cafe. <laughs> Darren, did you say this? Did you say no. this? No. Oh! <laughs> and you know what? You knew so much. That's why that show. Hey, That's the point. Not only was it, but, but not only was it blasphemous, bro, like that was totally disrespectful. For a person who watched it and loved it, you was I able to say, say I never said I, I, I never said I loved it. Let's let Clint let's let Clint explain. Yeah. Clint, go ahead and say for why. the exact reason that you said is why I feel like they couldn't fight. Ain't no way one man is going to take out a whole crew of five fucking people. And also, let's have this conversation. The Black Ranger, he couldn't fight. He danced. All right. The Blue Ranger, he couldn't fight. He was on. He was. He was the tech. The, the technology motherfucker. Right. Like. These, they couldn't, and Jason, every time, every time I saw him use the same karate that the Green Ranger was using, the Green Ranger was tuning his ass right on up. I'm going to tell you this, the Power Rangers couldn't fight. The Pink Ranger, she was eye candy. She was ugly, but white boys, they loved her. And then the Asian girl, they tried to use her for Kung Fu. She ain't know that shit either. So no, the Power Rangers could not fight. Rest in peace. And, please. and... And the black dude had a claw, and I like his hairline. <laughs> and and how the hell do y'all remember specific episodes of the Power Rangers? I was five, six years old when <laughs> hey, the Power Rangers came out, and that was that was my show. Trey, then, Trey, you saw me over here. I was lost. I said they had no. <laughs> <laughs> this was so it was so surgical because I first thought for sure. Drank with that because because of how he responded, like I don't know about this shit. So I assumed he said it, but he was like he didn't. So then when when Darren couldn't name any of the details, I'm like, oh, he for sure did it. But I but but I did watch it. That's the thing. I remember. Yeah, watching. I did I watch remember. it, but but I don't remember like like that. Is no the details is crazy. I remember hey, all them shit. Hey. I remember <laughs> when they got their ass whooped by the Green Ranger. Whooped their ass. Hey, all right. All right, so now we are back on drinking. Drinking. What category are you choosing? Give me video games for three. Video Ooh. games for the three, Hunter. All right, let's go ahead and get that blasphemous statement on the board. All Tekken games are trash. <laughs> Woo. All right, let's go ahead and get that timer started. <laughs> <This is> funny. <laughs> Clint, 
Clint, name your favorite fighting games. My favorite fighting games. Uh, Street Fighter, of course. Mortal Kombat. Uh, I like Ready to uh, not Ready to Rumble boxing, but I like Knockout Kings that turned into Fight Night. Stop! Stop uh, right there. You're fine. Kanees, Kanees, who's your favorite fighter on Tekken when you played? Yoshimitsu. Good. Okay. Oh. All right. All right. Yoshi. Anyway, boy, Darren, <laughs> who was your favorite fighter on Tekken? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hey. That's all. Hey. Good, ain't it? Hey, hey, that's our one, ain't it? Hey, huh? Yeah, bro. Yeah, lots of just boy, just be hanging. We don't know his name. We don't know his name. We don't know his name. Uh, uh, Clint. Who was your favorite fighter on Tekken? I ain't have one. You ain't have one. Mm-mm. You ain't have one. Nope. Darren, name your your favorite fighting games. Street Fighter. Remember Primal Rage? I like Primal Rage. Yeah. Ooh. Um, Ooh. Ooh, that's a good one. And Marvel vs. Capcom. <laughs> Denise, Denise, name your favorite fighting game. Uh, the ones uh, Clint named in uh, Killer Instinct. Killer Instinct. Yeah. So nobody put Tekken in their favorites. Mm. Is it? I mean, it was there. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to go ahead and say I'm going to go with Clint. Clint, yes. did you say I, this? I said that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I said that shit. I said it. I thought, I, I, I thought Tekken was nothing but diet Street Fighter and diet Mortal Kombat. I didn't like none of that shit. I didn't. No. I don't own. I ain't never owned Tekken. I ain't never played. I, or I never liked Tekken. I never. Every time when niggas was want me to come over and be like, "Yo, you want to play Tekken?" Then you would hit off nah, Tekken and Virtual Fighter on Sega Saturn. Mines will be the same fucking shit. Whoa, <laughs> bro, that, that is uh, truly blasphemous. Uh, uh, it is. It is. It is. Sega Saturn. Yo, Tekken was, cool. cook on that. Tekken was cool, but it wasn't like a. You know That's what I'm saying? It, it was like a, a tier. It was a tier two, tier three fighting game. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Wow. Oh. Wow. I, mean, I, wow. I, I got a list, but to just say that out loud, that's wild, Clint. That's wild. Is Tekken be- Wait a minute. Some of the joints we just named. Is it better than Street Fighter? No. no. Is it better than Mortal Kombat? No. No. Is it better than Marvel versus Capcom? Yes. No. no. Is, it better, is, it better, is it better than yes. Injustice? No, because Injustice got the Mortal Kombat. It got the Mortal Kombat formula, so I, I can't give it to that. Mm-hmm. Hey, what, what was the what was the uh, the, rap, the the rapping fighting game? What was that one? What, ah, dang, what was that? Def Jam. Def Jam. Def Jam. Def Jam Vendetta was crazy. <laughs> that's, that's blasphemy, right? Now, about to say, and, 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 and let is it better than like remember remember is it remember uh the, the wrestling games on 64 was it better than wcw versus nwo oh, that's, whoa, 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 whoa. that's that's, that's no. not fair that's no, not fair. No. that's fighting is what it no 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 that, we're talking about fighting? platform and we're talking about platform and fighting we're not talking about wrestling g that's that's it's unfair fighting. it's fighting <laughs> I, don't I, don't know, I don't even i don't even know if it was better than primal rage bro primal rage was fine hey, all right primal we Hey, right, we got, uh, we got uh, Clint. It's 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 on you, bro. What category are you going? Let me get comic books for the three hundred. Comic books for the three hundred. All right, let's get that blasphemous statement on there. This 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 comic books one usually causes a lot of discourse. Marvel comics after two thousand and five are mainly useless. Woo! Now, all right, all right, so, let's go ahead. Let's, let's get have this. Going. So, whoever said this is a comic book reader. So, let's just start here. Uh, Osama, are you a comic book reader? No. Okay. Did you read the comics at any point in life? Never. Not from the hood, man. Okay. No, I'm. I'm just asking. I ain't read comics. I'm just, you know. Uh, uh, Darren, do you do you own comics? Yes. You own them right now, currently. 
You, you do? Currently, yeah, I got some yeah. in my. Yeah, I can wear back on the goddamn. But some are worth money. Oh wow! Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, 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 Kines, do you currently own comics? None. Okay. Did you ever own comics? Never. Well, if that's the case, then I'm gonna go ahead and say, "Hey, my man, Darren Brand said this." All right, Darren, Darren did you say this? Nah, I ain't said this. Ooh. 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 Now we got some people playing mind games around here. All right. So, so you don't. So whoever says this doesn't never collected comics, never owned comics, but saying some shit like this is crazy. <laughs> so, Kenise, I think you would say some shit like this without owning no goddamn comics. Kenise, said this. this is a fact. So now, fact. hold on. I just got to ask a question because Clint makes a very valid point. For somebody yes. who doesn't read comics or own comics, why do you believe Marvel Comics, after a 2005 specifically, are mainly useless? Because my brother and cousins own comics, and they literally read it, and I'm always critiquing the new little superheroes, and they like, damn, you don't like no hero after 2005. So yeah, so I always be like, is this I, I I don't, I don't like, I don't like this take. It's like you, you minus somebody else's business. Like, get out of the comic <laughs> business. Why do we need a new Hawkeye? He was already trash. So why do we need a new one? Hawkeye's not trash. Character we didn't need. Bro, you going off a of Hawkeye in the MCU? In the comics, Hawkeye is a Hawkeye beast. is not trash. Yeah, that's cute. And what about the new character? The new the Hawkeye character. What's her Wrong. name? Uh, Kate Bishop. No, Kate Bishop. Kate. Useless. No, she's not, G. <laughs> you even know. You? Yeah, I, I don't. I don't like this take, man. I don't, I don't like this take. I, 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 I'm not a fan of this take. And I can't say nothing because I ain't never had a comic in my life. Ne ne neither have I. Neither have I. I mind. I don't. I mind my business. He ain't. So I want to. I want to make a couple of statements because niggas in the hood do have comics, bro. <laughs> Where? Bro, I've been to multiple hood niggas who have comics. It's like it's the it's the thing that niggas like you'd be surprised. It'd be hood, it'd be the bro, it's, hood it's, it's your it's your escape from your reality. Right? They be chopping. You see a nigga cooking up some dope. It's like, hey, hey, don't be fucking with my Black Panther issue ninety seven, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like they hood niggas fuck with comic books, bro. Oh, yeah, <laughs> That's a fact. We ain't, we, ain't, we, ain't we ain't read comic books in my neighborhood. Bro. Not in the south. Not in the south. I, I'm, I, I'm I, in the south and niggas is reading them all. You in yeah. Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so thank you for checking out an episode of Geek Blasphemy. I appreciate all my guests coming through, and I want to give them their opportunity to close out and let people know where they can follow you and where they can support you at. So we're going to go ahead in the same order. Start off with Darren. Go ahead and let the people know, bro. Hey, man, check me out on IG, Darren Brand underscore twitter facebook TikTok, all of that uh going on the road soon check me out on check me out on the um ig so you can see the tour dates appreciate y'all much love as always last few hits we coming soon another platform hey all right kanice man you are up next let us know where we can follow you at and how we can support you all right so uh kanice one k that's c-a-n-i-c-e one zero zero k a hundred thousand you know instead of being three k like andre i'm hundred thousand and you can support me on my podcast. It's on all stream platforms and YouTube. Follow me on Instagram. You can see the clips. It's called I Might Get Canceled. So, uh, yeah. So, it's basically a continuation of this. <laughs> all right. Osama been drinking, bro. Let them people know how they can follow you and what they can support you on. Hey, you know, you can follow me at Osama been drinking on IG, Twitter, everything like that. Uh, last few hits, the podcast. We've been down for a couple of weeks, but hey. Moving to a new platform, whatnot. We'll see you. We'll be back real soon. And uh, catch me on the road with Chico B. Nice, nice. All right, Clint, you the last person. Roll us out, man. How can people follow you and where they can what they can support you on? Hey, man, you can follow me uh, at Clint Coley, C L I N T C O L E Y. That's on all platforms. Nothing changes. Everything's the same. Um, also, where you can support me, two things. First thing is follow uh music is the love language that's the name of my podcast we debate, debate music all day every day uh we're one of the newest podcasts on the revolt podcast network you can check us out on revolt tv you can check us out on the revolt app and or not us it's me you know what i'm saying 
And then last but not least, man, I got a new, I got my very first half hour comedy special dropping November 16th on Amazon Prime called My Edible Kicked In. So yeah, man, check me out, man. Check me out. Man, that's so dope, bro. That's so dope, Thank you, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, all right, now we got a, 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 a rare occasion. Round two, we actually have two winners that are going to be welcome to the highlight reel. Osama been drinking and Clint Coley. So now I'm not for sure. I don't think we planned for this, Will. Uh, we're, just, we're just going everybody individual, like giving giving Osama first and then Clint first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep that order. All right, bet. All right, so Osama, you get like, welcome to our highlight reel. You get one minute to say your blasphemous statement uninterrupted. Just want to go ahead and mute everybody's mic. And when you hear the buzzer, go ahead and get your go on. All right. Hey, it's Hip Hop's 50. So I'm going to say this. Biggie was just a moment in time, y'all. Let it go. He only had two albums. That's it. It's a lot of people who done went past. It's a, it's a lot. Of, yeah, cut the screens off. Cut them off. It was just a moment in time, man. We had him for a few years or whatever. Then it was done. Time to let it go. Time to let it go. All right, time to let it go. Time to let all of it go. So every year come up, oh, the biggie, biggie. Hey, 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 hey. All right? Let it go. All right? Just a moment in time, guys. We had it for a few years. It was dope. Had some features and stuff. Me and my bitch. Me and my bitch. Hey, we, hey, I was there with y'all, huh? Let it go. All right, there you have it. <laughs> All right, Clint, you get your minute. I know you probably want to rebuttal, but don't rebuttal. Just get your minute. Get your shit on. Nah, 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 we can't. We gotta, we gotta right, let it cook. Bad, bad, we gotta, bad, we gotta let it marinate. So, all right, Clint, go ahead and get your blasphemous statement off. One minute. Um, I just want to let everybody know that, uh, you know what? I can't not respond to this shit, man. I'm sorry, dog. I can't. I, I can't let that shit slide, dog. Biggie's a fucking moment in time. Yo, you're talking to a guy. Let him cook. He can cook. Go ahead, Clint. No, fuck that, man. <laughs> No, dog, you're not just going to sit here no. and tell me that one of the greatest hip-hop artists of all time. Now, I get it. He only had two albums. I get it. I get it. And he's no longer in my top five. I totally agree with that. But so many other artists copied Biggie. So many other artists took from Biggie. Biggie is one of the most influential rappers in the time that he had. So you can sit here and say he was a moment in time, but he was a big piece of a moment in time. You cannot he tell was, the story yeah. of hip hop without the notorious B.I.G. I don't give a damn. I don't care. Don't tell me nothing. He has two classic albums in two years. I mean, in three years. I'm sorry. Most artists don't have one in their entire lifespan or their entire career. Biggie Smalls was way more than just a moment of time. He was a special he, piece of hip hop and should be respected as such. Thank you, guys. He, God bless. If he can say that about Biggie, you see, he can say the same thing about Andre 3K. I, I, I don't disagree with that. He gave us oh. one album. All right, now y'all no, get it. No, 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 so I'm going to actually throw it to the crowd, man. For those who's watching, listen here. You just heard these blasphemous statements. Please let us know in the comments below what you feel, if you agree, if you disagree. Get in detail at people. Listen here. These blasphemous statements need to be either addressed or co-signed. And I would like to see y'all in the comments do so. But again, thank you for checking out Geek Blasphemy. I appreciate all my guests for coming through. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications to Arcade Tokens. Thank you for watching, and we will catch you next time. Hey, 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 MC Hammer had more hits than Biggie. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> no, he hey, yo. <laughs>
Hey, Will, in it, Will, make sure, make sure, Will, make sure that the video ends on that. That's the tag. That's I'm the gonna tag. Go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go to the studio. That's the tag. Hey yo, that nigga's hey, that nigga trolling at this point, bro. That nigga's trolling at this point, bro. Hey, Clint, has Osama been on your show? He can't be on my show saying no shit like that. Oh, no, need, uh, I know you gonna have a you gonna be able to have a great conversation with him about it. No, I can't. <laughs> what? What, bro? What? Clint, I'm what? You don't want to rebuttal him on your show? <laughs> nah, we don't entertain. <laughs> We're, we're, we're music snobs on our show. We don't entertain that kind of stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> hey, hey, for real, for real, clear. Hey, for real, for real, clear. Hurt. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 he's loving, bro. Hey, he's the loving, bro. Hey, he see, he see you getting the fight by the river. He be like, nah, that nigga said Biggie ain't top five. He <laughs> yeah. wanted to swim for the fight. Nick's he he not swimming swim it. He the not swimming it. He not swimming to help you, brother. That nigga keep his outfit hey. clean. But he hey, but but him. both of us, both of us did say the same thing. We both did call him a moment in time. I do, I do agree. But that's be, I do agree to a certain extent because of Biggie's career was unfortunately cut short. But yes, you know, I don't think, but I do not think people, so people who hear of him as number one, two, three, four, five, no, right? And the main reason for that is, is that in my opinion, his, his career was too short to be number one, two, three, four, five. And since then, there has been people who have surpassed him. I, I totally agree with that. But not, Future's but, in my top five. There, I said it. You know, it's crazy. I made a top 50 list. The future is very high on the list, unfortunately. And that's unbiased. Yeah. And I'm not. Wait, why, a, you I don't unfortunately? Like <laughs> why do you say well, unfortunately? Why do you say unfortunately? Because he can't rap. Like, let's be like, come on, y'all. What? But wait, he what's, can't the rap. List? what's the list? What? Every time, because if, if it's the if it's a rapping so, list, wait, then no, I no, 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 no. You missing what I just said? He's the. T I, I have a top 50 greatest hip hop artist list, right? But also, okay. I have it. I have a criteria, right? So right. in the criteria, you have to meet the, you have to meet these five things. Lyrics is one of those things. That's the right. only one that he doesn't meet, that he doesn't meet. That's why he's not in the top five. But to me, I had to take points off because he can't rap. That's oh, just no, the that bottom line. Sense. That makes four. sense. On the other four. You have to have you I, I judge your classic albums or championship rings, as I call it. I also judge your longevity. I judge your commercial success. I judge your impact slash your influence. And your lyrics. So Future has all of those things except the lyrics. He does have impact. I work. scoop your he son does, up from your baby does, daddy. He, he does have. A, <laughs> <laughs> he does have what a do classic album. He does have a classic album. He has. He does. He has longevity. Mm -hmm. And Future also. And Future also. Uh, Spin it. Money. All these hoes. Nigga. <laughs> okay. So you're talking about impact. And things like that, dog. Like to some people, that can't count. Logic has impact. 